Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Bubble Prince class. Why don't you go ahead and grab your grab and go bag? We'll start by making sure we have everything we need. In your bag, you should have five sheets of watercolor paper in two different sizes. You should also have some straws and four different colors of paint. A few things you'll need to gather from around your house are a cup of water and some dish soap. I'm using clear, but any color is fine. And you'll also need four short cups or shallow bowls. Once you have all of that ready, put it off to the side and grab your empty grab and go bag. This is a messy craft, so you'll want to cover your work surface and have a few paper towels handy. You might want to wear a smock or a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty. If you don't have anything to cover your table with, you can cut up your grab and go bag and lay it down on your work area. The first step will be to prep your paint solution. We're going to be using one part water, two parts paint, and two parts dish soap. I mixed the paint and dish soap together first and then added the water and then mixed it some more. Go ahead and grab your four cups or bowls and get started. Now, in order to create our bubble prints, we need to make the paint solution bubble up and over the rim of the cup. We do this by blowing through the straw into the solution. Let's take a minute to practice blowing through the straw before we get started. Here's a reminder. Make sure you blow through the straw and then release. Don't inhale with your mouth on the straw. It's a good practice to immediately release the straw when you're all done blowing. The reason we do this is so that you don't drink any of the paint solution. Once you have your paint solutions prepared and you've practiced blowing through the straw, grab your straws and add one to each cup. And this is where things get a little messy. The only thing to do now is to make our paint solution bubble up. Blow through the straw and see how many bubbles you can make. If it goes over the rim, don't worry. That's exactly what we want it to do. Then go ahead and pull the straw out when you have your bubbles, grab your paper, and lay it face down over the bubbles for a few seconds. Pull it back up and take a look at what you've created. It might take a few tries or a few layers to get a darker color, so keep going until it looks just the way you want it to.
Another strategy is to scrape the bubbles onto the sheet of paper. Let the bubbles sit for a bit on the paper. It typically gives you a darker overall color and you can also scrape some of the smaller foamy bubbles on to the paper for more variety. And that's it. You can try experimenting with different colors on the same paper, layering different colors to see if you can create new ones, blowing harder or softer to see what happens, and using different sizes of straws. Make sure to send pictures of your completed creations to at bbplibrary.org.